And the final part of our presentation here is going to be how to create construction drawings. I'm going to bring over an example of a construction documents that were created in Chief Architect. And um, so this is a plan set. This is on full architectural uh, D 24 by 36 uh, layout sheets. And uh, you can create your various notes here. In fact, there's notes included in the catalog that you can just drag and drop into your plan. Um, this is page one of our plan. There's just a 3D perspective view of what the project might look like uh, at completion. If we go through those pages, uh, another page of uh, boilerplate notes. Uh, this is our site plan. Um, shows our setbacks uh, where the septic system auxiliary buildings and so forth uh, some plan information here in terms of square footage uh, we have automatic uh, schedules so window door uh, room finish schedules these are all things you can just drop into your plan that are created automatically in the program uh, we'll toggle down into our floor plan view and um, this is a floor plan of our basement and first floor and I'm just going to toggle through our uh, foundation. Uh, these are the CAD details that we created and again this is an example of a CAD detail that's uh, within the library of Chief Architect. There's over 500 of them that are architecturally correct and you just drag and click and drop those right into your plans. I'll just toggle through a few more here. This is a uh, roof plan and ceiling plan our elevation views, our framing plan, our framing layout for a couple of walls, electrical and HVAC, and our plumbing plan. So let's uh, go ahead and show you how uh, we just, I'm going to give you a quick example of how we'd put together uh, construction drawings such as these. So let's get back into our plan view here. And I'm going to switch our layer set over to our floor plan set. I have a uh, plan view set. And that will eliminate uh, some of the things like plants and so forth that I don't want to show in our plan. And what it will do, what we'll start with is sending a, a floor plan view out to our plan. So what Chief Architect does is we're generating uh, a 3D model. So far we've drawn all these design elements in and we have a 3D model and we use camera views um, and other views to send out to our construction drawings and that's how we build our uh, our construction documents and we'll I'm going to bring you through that process here so in our floor plan view I'd like to add some things here uh, such as dimensions uh, up in our dimension tools we have an automatic exterior dimensions I'll click on that and that will uh, add some exterior dimensions and we can set defaults uh, depending on what your preference is so we're pick, picking up opening centers ra rather than uh, the framing edges or sides. Um, we can set up automatic dimensions to pick up uh, really anything you want, even casing rather than uh, framing if you're dealing with a kitchen and bath design or so forth. Um, <clears throat> the dimensions that we have on here that are created automatically, we can edit those. Uh, we can move them around, so you might uh, adjust some of these dimensions up. Um, I'll click on this one and bring it up, and I notice that uh, I'm picking up the center of our uh, some extra dimensions on our four panel slider there. So if we grab those diamonds and pull them off, these little diamonds, uh, that will remove a dimension. Uh, uh, likewise, if you've selected on a dimension string, if you grab this diamond here and pull that down, you can add a dimension so we can edit what we have here in terms of our dimensions by adding or eliminating uh, uh, where, we're, where we are dimensioning to. Um, so I'm going to remove that uh, one that I just used as an example to add and perhaps we'll click on this and move that dimension up a little bit. 
So once we have our dimensions and this view set to how we would like to, to uh, send that to our layout page, then what we do is go up here in our toolbar and we have a send to layout tool. And when we click on it, it's going to say if you haven't created a layout already, it's going to say that there's no layout uh, currently found. Would you like to create a new one? I'll say yes. And that's going to create a new layout page for us. And in this dialog box, we get prompted of which page on our layout documents uh, that you'd like this view to go to. So I'm fine in this example that we'll send it to page one of our layout book. And um, here we can make a copy of our layer set um, and uh, it will make a copy of that and give it a name of layout set 4. That will make a bunch of additional uh, layers in your plan so I tend to like to turn that setting off. I just like to use the layer set that I am uh, using to generate this view uh, and use that. Over here we have control over our scale so uh, we can change our scaling to uh, anything that you'd like uh, inches, feet, um, metric and so forth and uh, this is quarter inch to the foot so if we're doing a, a plot plan it could be uh, an eighth inch is ten feet or uh, whatever it is that you'd like. So I'm going to stick with what we have as defaults and click OK and that will bring our uh, view out to our layout page. Now this is a it's a pretty long property in fact if we look on here it's almost 80 feet long uh, going from uh, top to bottom and one might want to fit this entire project on this uh, this is a 24 by 36 uh, ArcD layout sheet we can just rotate that around and uh, fit that entire plan on the layout sheet. Uh, what I'd like to do in this case, because really we're just dealing with the uh, with the addition here, uh, I don't necessarily need all of this as built. So we can modify this window that's displayed. I can just grab this and pull that uh, window up here, and then it'll just show this area of our of our layout. So that's a nice tool for for uh, kind of tightening up what's what's sent to your layout or what's uh, exposed in your layout. So we'll go back to our floor plan again and just bring you through that process once more. Perhaps we want to have a foundation uh, plan view on there. We can go down to the foundation layer and uh, perhaps we'll just go to our default set for that and we'll send, you know, maybe we'll add some dimensions on there as well. We'll just automatically dimension that and send that view to our layout. And we'll also send that to page one at quarter inch scale click OK. So now we have another view here that we can move over and we can tighten up what's being sent out there, that view portal. Okay, so we uh, will toggle back over to our plan view. So again, we have two uh, files here. We have a layout file that contains all the, the layout pages and the views that you send out to create your construction drawings. And then you have your plan view, and that's where you're actually doing all your design work. So back into our plan view, I'll go up a level. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to automatically generate some elevations. We've learned that we have our elevation camera here and a backlip cross-section camera that uh, we can generate views from. But we do have a tool that will automatically generate our elevation views. So under our 3D and create auto elevations, we have a tool for creating all elevations. Just click on that and it will put your elevation cameras uh, on each side of your house and um, there's another one down here at the bottom as well. So if you want to send one of those layouts you can double click on the camera and it brings up that layout uh, or that uh, elevation view and in this view we can add dimensions and text and notes and a story poll. Uh, you might want to turn off your color on that uh, to make it appear more like a line drawing. So once you have this view set up uh, as you'd like with dimensions or notes and text, again we send it to our layout. So up top here is send to layout. Uh, this time instead of sending to page one, let's send that out to page two. And um, we'll click OK. So we have our layout, uh, our rear elevation, 
can bring that up top here and of course we can we have that layout or that uh, elevation is including our terrain so we can just uh, tighten up that view portal so back to our plan view let's close that elevation view and we can save it and I'll just bring up another elevation view this side elevation and again just to give you an idea send to layout and on page two okay creating that view for us so again we can tighten up our view portal again and drop that down you might put in that that's a north or south elevation or what have you so uh, that's the idea of how we would create our construction drawings once you have your design uh, and all the design elements put in there. Uh, pretty quick and easy to develop those construction drawings. One last thing I'd like to mention about uh, our layout pages is uh, when we're in this layout here, we have various layout tools up here for uh, exchanging, you know, moving pages from one place to another and deleting and adding pages um, and dimension and text tools and so forth, CAD tools. Uh, and this is how we would navigate through our pages. So right now we're on page two. If we go over to page one, that's where our floor plan resides. And if you go into page zero, this is our template page. So everything that shows up on this page in terms of our title block, uh, a graphic, anything we add here will show up on sub subsequent pages. So we always create our title block and our uh, template for our layout on page zero. And then as we go through our our construction drawings eventually over to page three a blank page but it still has all of these uh, all of your title block information on there okay so that wraps up our uh, our creating our plan and uh, layout pages and uh, that concludes our presentation here so this was the final segment of our remodeling presentation uh, and project and the product that I've been using throughout this demonstration is our Chief Architect Premier version. Uh, we also have an interiors version for the kitchen and bath design market. Uh, both of these products when you purchase uh, include a year of our support and software assurance. That would include uh, priority tech support, online training videos, over 500 of those, uh, premium catalog downloads, both uh, manufacturer and generic content, and uh, new version releases, anything we come out with during the, rear, the that year you get to upgrade to at no additional charge. So uh, we have a trial version on our website. That would be at chiefarchitect.com. And right on the home page, you can sign up for a free trial version. I want to thank everybody for watching. I had a lot of fun putting this project together. Again, if you have any questions uh, for us and sales, you can contact us through email at sales at chiefarchitect.com. You can also call us at 208-292-3400. So thanks again for attending and watching, and you all have a great day.